There are more text editors for Linux than I can count. Some of them are simple, and others include everything you may ever want in a text editor. Internet wars have been fought over which text editor is the best. In this video, we're going to discuss one of the simplest editors, Nano. Nano is installed by default on Linux Mint. To edit a file in Nano, we simply type Nano and the file name. Before we edit the file, let's look at the user interface. Commonly used shortcuts are displayed along the bottom of the screen. The caret in front of a shortcut, like caret G, means you press the control key and then the specified short key. So if we wanted to get help, we would press control G. The M in front of a shortcut, like MU, means you press the Alt key and then the specified shortcut key. Let's try out the Get Help option, Control G. Now that we are in the Help page, we can scroll down to the list of all shortcuts using the down arrow or the Page Down key. To exit Help, we press Q. Let's get rid of that Help menu by using Alt-X. Nano is classified as a mode-less editor, so I can simply start typing to edit the file. You can move the cursor around with the arrow keys. If you want to scroll up or down a screen at a time, you can use the page down and page up keys or the shortcuts Control V and Control Y. If we ever can't find the cursor or want to know where the cursor is relative to the rest of the document, we can use the shortcut Control C. You can move all the way to the bottom of the file using the shortcut Alt Slash and move all the way to the top using the shortcut Alt Backslash. If I wanted to undo a change, I could use Alt U. Notice it undid the entire line. If that was accidental, I can redo that change I accidentally undid using Alt E. In this case, I'm having problems because my terminal window is intercepting this command. If we want to copy or cut some text, I first need to select it. To start the selection at the cursor's location, I will use Alt A. I can then move the cursor to the other end of the selection. Note that the character under the cursor will not be selected. In this case, the O. If I want to copy this selected text, I can use Alt and Caret. It's now in the clipboard, and I can paste it using Control U. Notice the O was not copied. Now, let's cut some text. I can start the selection again using the shortcut Alt-A. When I reach the end of the selection, I use the shortcut Control-K. Notice that it was cut. I can then use Control-U to paste the text. Sometimes I need to search for text. I can use the shortcut Control-W to specify text to search for. I can also use a regular expression, which is going to be discussed in a later video. For now, let's search for the text UN. Nano found an instance of un in the file. If we want to search for the next occurrence, I can use Alt W. If I want to search backwards, 
I could use the shortcut Alt-Q. Now that I'm done editing the file, I can save it. Control-O will bring up the file save prompt. I'm just going to use the same file name so I can hit enter. Now that I'm done, I can exit the editor with Control-X. Nano is simple, but it is sufficient for many of the quick editing tasks you will encounter on the command line. For more intensive work, you will probably need a more full-featured editor. We will discuss one such editor, Vim, in the next video.